Mid- Midnight Mayhem, a babysitter's worst nightmare. Get around friends and listen close to the tale of a fateful night where terror crept into the shadows of Suburbia. Twas a dark and stormy evening, and young Emily, a brave and capable babysitter, had taken on the task of watching over five rambunctious youngsters at the Smith's household. As the night wore on and the hell- winds howled outside, Emily struggled to keep her charges in line. There was Tommy, the mischievous one, always getting into trouble, Sally, the sweet and gentle soul, and the triplets, Tim, Tom, and T- Teddy, bundles of energy and chaos. Emily had her hands full, but she was determined to keep them safe and entertained. But little did she know, a monster lurked into darkness, waiting to strike. Across town, the wa- walls of Oakwood Maximum um, Security's prison had been breached, and a notorious slasher, known only as the Shadow, has escaped. The authorities were hot on his trail, but the Shadow was cunning, and he had a taste for blood. As Emily settled the kids down for a midnight movie, she heard the first strange noises. At first, she thought it was just the wind or the house creaking, but then the screams began. The uh, children's eyes grew wide with fear as Emily's heart raced for every sna- snap of a twig and every creak of the floorboards. And that, my friends, is where our tale takes a deadly turn. Will Emily be able to protect her young charges from the clutches of the shadow? Will she be able to outsmart the monster and keep them safe until the authorities arrive? Ah, uh, but that's for me to know and you to find out. If you subscribe, that is. Want to hear the rest of the story? The fate of Emily and the children hangs in the balance and only those who dare to subscribe will discover what horrors await them in the darkness. So, what will it be, friends? Will you take the leap and uncover the terrifying truth? Or will you leave the Smith's household to fend for themselves against the evil that lurks in the night? The choice is yours, for now.